This quick video will show how to make a very simple underwater ambience particle using Niagara. I have added it to this small Japanese style garden level I made with a pond. The particles can be seen clearly in water and it looks very nice and makes the water look more atmospheric and stylized. The particles spawned are jittering randomly for some realism as well. It is usually for manual placement and controlled environments such as this pond where you know how many you want to place as opposed to an ocean. However I show how to make it for a full ocean as well. This is a full ocean map and you can see the particles are here too. It will show up wherever I go with the submarine and it uses only one instance of the particle as opposed to spawning it many times to cover the whole map which will be bad for performance. Even for this large submarine where the camera is much further back the particles can still be seen. The particle is fully customizable with many settings. Firstly, you can change the color of it. Here is a golden one. The spawn rate can also be changed to make it less or more dense. The min and max particle size can be changed so you can make the bubble smaller or larger to your liking. Finally, the movement amount can be changed by setting the vector noise and jitter amounts. The swimming and submarines shown in this video are from tutorials I have made previously but this video does not require them for the particle to be made. My scene has a water body lake which is from the default water plugin by Epic. I will use this map I made to test it and I can swim in it. First I will modify the post processing of the water to make it more suited to this level. Click on the water body and search for material. Find the underwater post process one and make an instance of it. Move this to a separate folder and apply it as the new material. Open and minimize or move it to another monitor it so you can see the changes in real time. I want to make the water clearer since this looks too foggy for a small pond. To do this we need to change the absorption color. We need to change the V amount which stands for value in HSV and controls the brightness. You can see increasing it makes it more opaque underwater. A value of 10 looks good for me. You can play around with the other values if you want as I only wanted to make the water clearer. Now I will make the particle. Make a new Niagara system. Search for hanging particulates and create. First, click on the material icon at the top and navigate to it. Make a copy of it. It is currently additive and translucent materials do not look that good when underwater using the water plugin so I will use a masked one instead. Set the material to the new one. You can see the particles here. Now, go to the spawn rate module. Add a new parameter on the left of type float and name it spawn rate. I will set the default value to 40. Drag the parameter onto the spawn rate tab on the right and it will set it to use the parameters value which can now be changed. Next go to the initialize particle module. Here we can change the color. I will make it blue. To make it brighter underwater you can change the V amount to something like 20. This basically just behaves like adding an emission to it. I will also modify the min and max uniform sprite size to be between 1.5 and 3.5. All the values used can be adjusted to your liking. Go to the shape location module. We will make a vector parameter for the box extent which is the spawn range. I will set the default value to what it was. Keep in mind that by default it spawns in a box shape. You can change it in the shape primitive tab to a different one if you need such as a sphere or cylinder. Now add a vector noise force which basically just moves the particles around. Then add a jitter position module. Set it to something low like 0.25 as it looks unnatural with a higher one. You can now see the particle looks nicer.
I made the color a parameter as well so it can be changed easier. Now I will add it to my scene. I wasn't able to find a way to easily debug the extent. However since it is a box shape I will just add a trigger box to my scene and then position and scale it to cover the pond. Try to be as accurate as possible and make sure the top of the box is below the water otherwise the particles will spawn outside it which looks weird. Once you have it set up add the actual particle. I will copy the location and rotation from the trigger box over to the particle. Then I will change the box extent parameter to those of the trigger box. You can see it is spawning over the whole pond now and not outside. It is however glowing too much and leaves an afterglow. It is more apparent when I increase the brightness value. This is not what I am going for however so I will just reduce it to 5 so it doesn't glow that much. This is how it looks with a spawn rate of 250. I will set it back since this is too much for this pond. You might need to trial and error with the values until it looks right. This part is optional and will show how to make the particle look a bit faded with a dotted effect. Open the material and use the shown dither temporal AA setup. This basically uses a striped pattern but looks more dithered or dotted in game with the default settings. The amount is controlled by the alpha threshold so zero will be completely transparent and as it is increased more and more dots are added until it is opaque at a value of 1. We need to multiply it with the previous calculation as that applies the circular mask to it. You can make a material instance if you want to change the opacity value easily but I will just modify it directly since it is a single use material. Again, play around with the opacity value until it looks right for you. Here is how it looks in game. You can use parameters for any of the other settings you want as well. I will do this in time lapse as it is just the same process. The settings I added were for the min and max size, vector noise force and jitter amount. Here is how it looks with the settings adjusted to make it more dense and bigger. You can now modify the particles in editor to fit your scene for any purpose and it can be used for general ambience as well not just underwater. Finally I will show how to make the particle effect for a large map area where placing it manually will not be as efficient. I will show it in this full ocean map example. First I added the particle to the scene and moved it underwater. I want it to be visible even when using this large submarine so I set the extent to be larger than even that. I had to increase the spawn rate to compensate for the increased spawn range. I then used the trigger box method to find out what the Z position should be to ensure it spawns underwater. To fake it covering the whole map I will simply move its world position to match the players. I will just do this in the level blueprint. On begin play add a set timer by event. This is an alternative to tick. Set the time to something like 0.2 and looping to true. Promote the return value to a variable and this way you can stop the timer later if needed for example during a cut scene. Also the time can be increased even to something like 2 or even 5 because the player will need longer than 5 seconds to actually exit the box extent range so the transition won't be visible. Next set the actor location of the water ambient particle which you can access by selecting it in the level then right clicking in the blueprint. Then get the player pawn. This is since we can change the pawn into the submarines and so it will get the right one. Get the actor location, split the pin and make a vector using only X and Y. We need to clamp the Z so it can't move out of the water range we defined.
get the z location we just used and set it as the greater than and select float value. The particle can be seen anywhere in this map now. You can make it more complex by adding more features such as a different particle in lower depths of the water such as towards the seabed. This is just an example of it being used in a larger map and the timer is not stopped so of course for your game and need you will need to adapt it. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. The swimming and submarines shown in this video are available as project files in the link in the description but do not include this particle since it is very simple and quick to make. The entire water series project files which will be released on the series completion will include everything including this particle and extra exclusive features. Thanks for watching.